Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to weekly mentoring video for December 28, 2020. Last trading video for this year. So today I can give you the real, real numbers, how we ending up this year, uh, with which wins uh, and, you know, gains and losses and so on. I already summarized the year uh, in the last video. Uh, just want to show you some numbers. We're going to continue trading, of course, uh, in January. And, you know, this, this is just going to keep going as long as I'm breathing and living human being. So uh, before we move to the portfolio and before we move to the agenda of today, of course, I need to bring the uh, disclaimer telling you that this video is for informational, educational purposes only. So if you agree with this, check this and we can continue to the agenda and topics for today. We have lots of topics actually. We're going to be doing portfolio management routine and we'll look at some news. Uh, I want to do something special today. I will just show you how to manage a broken long verticals. Uh, in this case, it will be call verticals. Going bad and this one was on Intel. We already risk managed this trade long time ago, but uh, since the long vertical is still an active trade, I can show you how you could manage it otherwise. Okay, there is also some news on uh, you know, currency falling off the sky. So US approved uh, this $900 billion bill. Uh, and there is some stuff about universal income coming up. So people getting $600 right now monthly in the US. But Trump's supposed to be you know, discussing or whatever. Uh, there is some discussions about increasing that number to 2K. Uh, if that happens, basically universal income is done universal basic income is done and you know this never comes for free right so like nobody gives you like why didn't they do that before is this because of that really i, I don't think so so this does not come for free so uh, obviously there is an if like if you get in order to get this 2k there will be some conditions and one of those conditions may be this and I want to jump quickly to show you, maybe in trading view, what's going on with uh, S&P 500. I'm going to look at the daily chart of the futures, ES1, so E-mini futures. And you can see this uh, uh, announcement of the stimulus causing, you know, S&P go to its highest highs again. And it looks like it may break out again and go to even higher. Uh, yeah, all these news about vaccines, they sound negative to me, but may sound positive to people who believe in all this, uh, you know, uh, healthcare issue being true and basically that okay if we get those then everything comes back to normal I honestly don't believe that but majority does and it does what does it cause it causes that the markets will go up probably very likely probably it's gonna move a little bit slower sideways not have that much momentum I can see the momentum has been lost a little bit so you don't see this uh, you see higher lows popping up but the higher highs are like not too much higher you know than the previous highs so it doesn't have that momentum doesn't have that power but the recent move on the announcement of the stimulus uh, was quite solid and let's of course say, have a look at the VIX before we move on to portfolio uh, this time you know I'm using trading view to show you all this uh, just because it's convenient for me I mean you can do the same analysis on your thinkorswim platform obviously so VIX uh, well looks like very low 21.6 so everybody's happy, right? Everybody's happy. Everything's coming back to normal. We have stimulus, we have vaccines, we have you know, all this stuff coming up. Uh, no need to worry. But to me, while well, there is a lot of you know, things to worry about, we're vaccinating people with experimental vaccines. You know, what if something happens? What if the virus mutates and you know, the mutation is so crazy that the vaccine doesn't work? What if the something with the you know stimulus bill is still not approved, you know, or whatever? Let's go to the portfolio and look what's going on. So last uh, video this year, how are we performing? Looks like we're performing quite good. Today we're making this 567 bucks. Just today, uh, overall, this portfolio is kind of losing this mostly because of insurance uh, and you know this trade on AU. Uh, no, at Clorox, this is not re really true. Uh, this trade has been managed and if I bring all the previous trades into this position you see that this number is very small but I'm not gonna go into that you see the overall performance here today we're, we're talking about making 29% return on investment this year uh, okay starting from April you know uh, 
that was the number from the last video you see that actually changed to 31 percent so i like that cisco this is a winning trade this is a really nice one uh, so we see a, a, actually a working butterfly broken wing butterfly we have two two butterflies bought on this one and we actually right now in the profit area 150 bucks up time works for us so uh it expires on 15th of january i would like this to move even higher to 46s and so on where i can collect my full profit from that if it goes to 48s i'm also happy so you have potential of 400 bucks we are at 150 right now and when we look at the cisco well it's kind of lagging and it still didn't fill that gap i think it will and you know we're having an earning no earnings but dividend coming this may push it a little bit down but uh, in general, I see it as filling this gap and going to 47. So if we get to 47, guys, that's our max profit zone, 600 